I, I found uh, many, many years ago that uh, bidding uh, much higher than mm -hmm. your suggested bid, uh, one, gets you a, a better quality of traffic, mm -hmm. uh, but two, uh, it makes it very, very easy to scale. Okay. Uh, you can scale way easier, mm -hmm. uh, and then you can literally uh, bully people out of the auction. So if I'm bidding, uh, you know, $150, yes. uh, and, uh, uh, you know, and then and you say you're bidding on the same audience, mm -hmm. Uh, then after a few days, you're going to pause because uh, you're, you're losing money. Right. So then my cost goes down. I see. Hi, guys. Uh, my name is Tim Bird. I'm the founder of the Facebook Ad Buyers Group. Uh, also, I uh, have an agency called Agency Y uh, and a private community called AdLeaks. So our audience got a lot of questions for you right there. Um, first one. Why do you suggest maximum of maximum of 60 seconds video uh, ads? It's yeah. a great question. Uh, so anything longer than 60 seconds uh, will disqualify you from uh, Instagram. Uh, Instagram has a 60 second cap, uh, and if you want to make sure that uh, uh, that you do uh, you're able to get some Instagram traffic, uh, then it needs to be less than 60 seconds. Fundamental difference between automatic bidding and manual bidding. Oh, great, great question, actually. Uh, so uh, when you're doing auto bidding, uh, you're telling Facebook, uh, I don't really care about my bid. I care that you spend my budget, okay? Mm -hmm. Which means that you're not going to typically get as good of a conversion cost. Mm -hmm. uh, with, uh, with manual bid, you're saying, hey, I care more about my conversion cost mm -hmm. than I do. Like, if you, if you can't hit my conversion goal, then don't spend all my money. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, uh, so that's the fundamental difference. Um, but I do find that uh, I like manual bid because it gives you like an extra lever to pull. Uh, in the uh, in the algorithm, uh, okay. which can be very important for a lot of my methods. Right. Yeah. So is there also a reason why you are being known as the bully guy? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, I'm known as the bully guy. Uh, uh, it's because I, I've been pushing. Uh, uh, I, I found uh, many many years ago that uh, bidding uh, much higher than mm -hmm. your suggested bid, uh, one gets you a, a better quality of traffic, mm -hmm. uh, but two, uh, it makes it very very easy to scale. Okay. Uh, you can scale way easier, mm -hmm. uh, and then you can literally uh, bully people out of the auction. So if I'm bidding. Uh, you know, $150, yes. uh, and uh, uh, you know, and then and you say you're bidding on the same audience. Mm -hmm. uh, then after a few days, you're going to pause because mm -hmm. you're you're losing money. Right. So then my cost goes down. I see. So you're actually like bullying people out. Nice, nice. Of your audience. Um, so this is something new, like for campaign budget optimization, yes. CBO. Like, how would you recommend people to test this method? Uh, just test it with uh, five plus ad sets. Uh, mm -hmm. Not not too many. Not, I'd say less than ten for sure. Less than ten. Uh, other is that yes. a reason why? Uh, just because it will sp uh, spread your budget around maybe too much. Okay. Uh, and you want it to have enough data on an ad set uh, mm -hmm. so that it can find the good ad sets. Okay. Uh, so uh, uh, make sure you have a, uh, a decent sized budget. You need to budget for uh, ideally at least uh, ten to twenty conversions per day mm -hmm. total across the campaign. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then uh, five to ten ad sets, somewhere in that range. Okay. Uh, and then, uh, but other than that, it does very well. Uh, one thing to note, though, is uh, you should set up some automated rules. Otherwise, sometimes Facebook will uh, spend too much on a mm -hmm. bad ad set. When you have a good ad set, it could spend on. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, so as we all know, like there's this uh, issue with Facebook where the pixel fire is gonna under fire most of the time, like by 10%, mm -hmm. 20%. So yeah. how do you go with dealing these kind of uh, issues? Uh, so one way uh, is uh, with uh, offline conversions. Uh, mm -hmm. You set up a, a, a Zapier or whatever, depending on uh, what you're using, mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and it sends the customer's email uh, back to uh, Facebook. Uh, and uh, maybe half the time it will match with a Facebook user, so you'll save uh, half of your missed pixel fires that way. Okay. If you can, you but can you find. are suggesting that we gotta use like out like third-party tools in order to get this done. Uh, you can use it with the Facebook Ad API. You just have to have a programmer do it. Mm -hmm. um, but it, you can do you can do it that way without okay. any tools. Oh, um, right. But uh, and then besides that, you just have to go in uh, like knowing that you're losing 10 or 20 percent. Okay. So if you see, uh, you know, ten conversions there on an ad set, just assume you have eleven or twelve, and okay, you know, kind of do the math based on that. Right. Okay. So you're actually suggesting that, like, because I I know a lot of guys they they actually like they won't be using a third party tool or they have someone to develop something based on the API just because there's this inconsistency. So are you suggesting that like um, we can just ignore it or we can just like take into consideration when we are looking into the conversions? Yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. uh, for for a lot of clients. Uh, uh, we just uh, we just ignore it, and uh, mm -hmm. you know if we know that historically it's a twenty percent in you know inaccuracy, uh, then uh, again if we have ten conversions on an ad set that we show, mm -hmm. we'll say okay we probably have twelve, okay, uh, and uh, we just do the math based on that. Okay. Uh, yeah. So the next question is going to be an interesting one. Um, what was your biggest 
mess up with the manual bidding? Uh, my biggest mess up. Uh, and how I'd much say, money do you lose? I think there's yeah, a lot of people that want to know. Uh, I'd say it was uh, probably when I was learning the sneak attack, uh, when I was creating it. Mm -hmm. uh, I uh, mm. I said the I, I made the mistake of I wasn't getting enough traffic, so I increased the bid. I was like, you know, screw it. I'm just going to put the bid a little higher, you know. A little bit higher. Uh, a little, uh, uh, just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Uh, and, uh, and it was too much a bit, you know. Okay. Uh, and uh, and I blew through. I think it was like eight thousand dollars in like forty five minutes. Oh wow. Uh, uh, you know, I like set that the hurts. bid up, and I was like, I'm gonna go uh, grab grab some food, mm -hmm. <laughs> come back. Okay. Lost a lot of money. You know? Wow, wow. So that's why I, that's why I had multiple yeah. times. I was like, be careful, set right. up rules. Yeah, because you can, I you do can notice, lose a lot of money. Yeah, because I do notice that wherever you are telling people to try the manual bidding, you always always make sure that these people they have to be extremely careful yeah, with manual bidding. Yeah, especially with this method. Yeah, yeah you especially can yeah, waste running on can, high budgets. Yeah. Right? How can we get agency or invoicing at accounts? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, with to get uh, invoicing ad accounts, uh, what you need to do is have uh, a lot of successful payments. Uh, so if you if it's a brand new ad account, uh, you just started uh, uh, you know you just started spending money, uh, and you request uh, uh, you know to be on invoicing. Facebook's not going to trust you that you'll pay mm -hmm. because it's a brand new ad account. You need to have a, a you know a month, two months of good payment history. Okay. Uh, with no failed payments, uh, all successful payments, uh, and ideally the more you spend, the better. Uh, and then you can request it, uh, and uh, hopefully you have some uh, some business lines of credit, or also that you can show them, or business credit cards, okay. uh, where you could maybe uh, uh, show do, Facebook the statement. But would Facebook be asking for your, like for example, company registration, just to prove that In, this business exists? Uh, and they typically will ask for that uh, mm -hmm. if it's uh, if you're. If you're asking for like let's say a hundred thousand dollar invoice account okay. or like a high limit, okay. um, if it's a lower limit, then they're not as stringent. Uh, it's the same as a bank; they're essentially giving you a credit line, uh, and they're going to ask for some documents. You mm -hmm. know, uh, okay, and the so higher the amount, the mm -hmm. higher the documents usually. So, uh, how about uh, what would be the minimum uh, minimum audience size in each asset that you, you would recommend? Okay, that's good. Good question. So, uh, uh, no matter what method uh, uh, that you're using, um, mm -hmm. I like to do a minimum audience size one million. Mm -hmm. um, ideally, uh, two million plus. Okay. Uh, and even if it's seventy million, that's good. Uh, so, but one to two million minimum. I never go less than that. Okay. Right. Thank you so much for your sharing, mm -hmm. team. Thank you. Yeah, it's good to have you here today. Thank you so yeah. much.